So these are Yamana half ball, uh, spiky balls, and you can buy them right from Yamana white website, um, or you can venture into something a little bit more economical, which are these um, myofascial spiky balls, dryer balls, really, actually. <laughs> um, two sizes. We've got, a, we've got a small one and a fairly large one. Um, a lot of my clients that have had ankle fusions, um, halicus vagus surgeries, uh, anything, uh, Achilles tears, anything like that, the bottom of the foot is just as important as the top of the foot. And so when you're working with me privately, um, you know, or taking your uh, taking your journey with you, uh, you want to be sure that you're aware of what is actually going on in your foot. Uh, so a lot of the time when my clients have really bad back pain, I will suggest that they work on the spiky balls. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually putting my heels onto the Yamana ball and I'm gonna just turn sideways so you can see that. And what I'm trying to do is just create a sense of balance in my feet. Um, if you do need something a little bit more specific, uh, you can actually contact me at info at limitlessmotion.ca or um, call me at 403-389-3693 and we can have a set up a conversation where we can talk about what's actually going on in your body and what you might need to work on specifically for your injury um, because that's my new approach to rehabilitation is that we need to start to take ownership so that we can actually go and live our lives and still check in with a remote therapist, which would be uh, myself or someone from, from my team. So at this point, what I really want to do is take that time to press those heels into that ground. And these spiky balls actually provide not only a fascial release, but proprioception as to where you might be waiting. So I have um, tend to rotate inward and not really pay attention to the outsides of my feet, which have now created um, which have added to my knee surgeries uh, and to my knee discomfort. So now I have to really pay attention to that. And when you're on the heel, you're going to move just a little step back so that you're on the, I was fully on the heel, but now you can see the tops of my feet are starting to lift. And I'm really going to start to pay attention to, can I wait onto the outside or pinky ring side of my foot? And can I hold that position and invert and evert? So I'm actually taking my feet and moving them slowly back and forth and just seeing how that feels. Going on to the arch of the foot now. So I wanna really try to press down through the outsides of my feet, rotate in and out. And just really allow that rotation in the foot to occur. So this is, these are really fabulous. You, I'm now taking my right foot back and actually doing a little bit more work through there. And I'm gonna take my left foot and rebalance. So again, this is for a healthy average foot. So if you do have an injury, I would recommend contacting me so we can figure out what works and what doesn't work for your body and your body type. So what we are gonna do now is walk onto the balls of the feet and we are going to take some energy and put them through the pinky ring toe because you're on your spiky ball. And you're just going to take a nice deep breath in and you're going to hinge at the waist and start to lean forward slightly. So because you're in this extension with your feet, you are going to feel a little bit of a different pull through your body. Bear in mind your stomach is slightly engaged, especially when you're coming back up. So if you feel like you're hyperextending through your knees, just definitely unlock them, unlock the kneecaps, and then begin to really tilt your pubic bone forward slightly so that you've got a, like a flat back, maintain the lift through the pelvic floor or Kegel for ladies, and maintain that connection as you lean forward. And so right now, me gripping all 10 toes through the spiky balls, I'm actually able to massage and release some of my fascia through the top portion of the foot. Um, this is actually a really great stretch for that Achilles tendon. It's a really nice way to pay attention to whether or not you have a lateral or medial tension through the body. And then you're gonna come back up to vertical and walk back onto the arches of the feet and just feel the spiky balls underneath your feet. 
So if you are on the half moon ones like I am, they definitely give it a little bit more security for stability. But if you are using, say, one of the smaller spiky balls and you're doing it, you can just do this with one foot, foot versus the other. So you do want to pay attention to that. Thanks for joining me and look forward to your calls and comments. My name is Karina Ann Poss and with Limitless Motion.